safety has always been Dyer's top priority. This was the motivation for Dyer's outfitting of its Kodiak 100, TBM 910, and TBM 940 aircraft with autonomous safety systems such as angle of attack, underspeed protection, electronic stability and protection, emergency descent mode, and more recently, auto throttle. Today, the TBM 940 is equipped with the home safe system, allowing the airplane to land by itself if the pilot is incapacitated. This video will explain how the system works and how to react step by step. The home safe system can be activated by anyone on board the aircraft with the simple push of a button. The orange home safe button is situated at the top of the cockpit instrument panel visible from any location within the cabin. Before pressing the home safe button, the first step is to enter the cockpit and check the pilot's condition by asking questions or by gently shaking the pilot's shoulder. If the pilot does not react, the passenger should engage home safe. To activate the system, press and hold the orange button in the cockpit for approximately two seconds. The button can be pressed multiple times without any risk of disengagement. In any situation, HomeSafe can be re-engaged by pressing the button again. After pressing the button, the white logo will light up and the button will start flashing. Audible warnings will confirm HomeSafe's activation. HomeSafe request. Once the system is activated, the passenger should be seated with their seatbelt fastened. No additional passenger action is required. During the flight, the system will give information guidance to passengers. To follow these audible and visual instructions, the passengers should wear a headset that is plugged in and watch the instrument panel's middle screen. With home safe taking control of the airplane, the flight control wheels, pedals, and power level will move autonomously. The passengers must not interfere with them and should check that the front occupant's feet are clear of the pedals. Fifteen seconds after activation, information updates will be provided by the three large screens and two small touch screens in the cockpit. Each screen is composed of two information areas an overlay on top and bottom of the screen, and the main content in the center. Both lateral screens will display details concerning the upcoming maneuvers and the name of the selected landing field. They will also show a standard display and the airplane's position on a map. The middle screen will contain information on the distance, the time, and the fuel remaining before landing. It also will display a series of videos related to the phases of flight, providing information to the passengers until the airplane comes to a complete stop. After each video, the screen will display a map showing the complete flight route. The two touch screens will give the airplane identification number and show a microphone illustration, which will be discussed later during this video. Once engaged, HomeSafe will immediately start searching for an adequate destination to land. Taking weather conditions and the surrounding environment into consideration, the airplane will determine the optimal landing field. When selected, the airplane will start maneuvering in order to reach this destination. At the same time, HomeSafe will communicate by radio to notify air traffic control and other aircraft about the airplane's emergency status as well as the selected landing site and the necessary parameters for the flight's completion in the safest conditions. These communications can be heard by the passengers. Once informed, the air traffic controller will establish the corresponding emergency procedures concerning the aircraft and its occupants. If the passenger wishes to communicate with an air traffic controller, 
passengers must use one of the front seat headsets and one of the touch screens on the instrument panel. If no one is seated in the right-hand seat in the cockpit, a passenger should move from the cabin to this seat and put on a front seat headset. If other passengers want to speak with the passenger in the front seat, they can do so by using the intercom function on their own headsets from the cabin. To speak to air traffic control, the passenger should press and hold the microphone button on the touchscreen. The blue frame indicates the microphone's activation. To hear the air traffic control's response, release the pressure on the touchscreen. The audio volume can be adjusted by turning the knob on the touchscreen panel's bottom right corner. Before the aircraft configures itself for landing, a video will explain to passengers what is happening. The flaps and landing gear will deploy, generating sounds related to their deployment. These sounds are perfectly normal, and passengers should not be concerned. A red light and three green lights will then appear near the left control wheel. This is normal, and passengers should not be concerned. To prepare for landing, passengers should stow the table and secure all loose objects in the cabin. Luggage should be stowed in the appropriate location, not left in the cabin. Each passenger should make sure that their seatbelt is fastened tightly. After landing, the aircraft will automatically apply the brakes, stop, and shut down the engine. After the complete stop, passengers can unfasten their seatbelts by turning the buckle on the front seatbelts or by pressing on the buckle on seatbelts in the cabin seats. To unlock the door, press and hold the black button located to the left of the handle, then pull and rotate the handle counterclockwise. Before exiting, Passengers should quickly analyze the situation. Decisions in preparing to exit the aircraft should not be delayed. Apply first aid when necessary. Finally, passengers should seek or call for help. All information provided in this educational video is included in the Home Safe instruction card available to passengers aboard the aircraft and will be repeated by the Home Safe system when activated. If needed, Passengers should ask the pilot for more information when entering the aircraft.